<laughs> you know what I've noticed about these movies? The first one started out probably about like at an hour and a half, and these movies keep getting longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. We're at almost a two and a half hour mark. Hey guys, welcome to my review of Furious 7, my last review before I go see Fate of the Furious. So the plot for this movie is exactly the same as like the last like three. It's pretty much we're going to do one final job and go off into the sunset. Just like I said in the last movie, you can only ride off into the sunset so many times! But as they are preparing to ride off into the sunset in this movie, Jason Statham is like hunting down all the crew and something that is very underused, I think. So pretty much, yeah, like, it's their last mission. The Rock hires him to, like, take out Jason Statham. And then Kirk Douglas comes in and, like, says that there's a whole bigger conspiracy theory going on. Which kind of takes, you know, forefront and then leaves Jason Statham, the fun part of the movie, on the back burner. So Jason Statham in this movie is awesome. I was really excited to see him after the after credit scene in Fast and Furious 6. He is so awesome in this movie. It is just hilarious. Too bad they barely use him and The Rock in the entire movie. These two take a backseat to a whole nother plot and villains and characters that just pop up out of nowhere that aren't nearly as interesting or fun to watch like at all. Kirk Russell's in this movie, and he's a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun with his character. You know, he's really funny, and he does kind of make up for the severe lack of The Rock and Jason Statham in this movie, but not by much. So yeah, but this is the same plot over and over again, and it's really starting to get uh, redundant. Like, why do they keep having to try to ride off into the sunset? Why not just join the government and, like, it's... It just doesn't make any sense, and it's really getting redundant and just overused at this point. It's like... You could at least try and do something different with the whole, like, stories, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know why I expect any more from this franchise. And like I said before, there is not enough Rock and there's not enough Jason Statham in this movie. And they get replaced by characters that aren't very interesting. And that leads into my next criticism. There are a couple characters in this movie that just pop out of nowhere with no introduction. And that's really it. Like, there, there's just... There's nothing to them. Like, there's this one, like, mercenary guy who I, at first I thought was Samuel L. Jackson, which would have been awesome, but it's not. He just pops out of nowhere, and then there's some other hacker girl that, like, they have no introduction. They just show up, and then that's that's it. Like, it's it's kind of, it, it feels very out of place. But the action is really fun in this movie, especially the whole third act. You get this fist fight between Statham and Vin Diesel. The Rock like, walks around like he rips his cast off when he's in the hospital. He gets a chain gun and he's just walking around like taking out like a helicopter and shit. It's really fun. And the tribute to Paul Walker at the end because he did die while making this movie was really nice. It was sad. Like I, I admit that I did get a little bit like, wow, that... That is really sad that he passed away, and hopefully that makes up for the fact that I made a joke on Facebook when he first passed away about him dying in a car accident because he was in the Fast and Furious movies. At. Oh man, I feel like a piece of shit for that now. But anyway, the tribute at the end was really nice. They did a good job with using his brother to finish the movie with the CGI and everything. You couldn't really tell, and... Honestly, I feel like that would have been a great place for the franchise to end. Like, no more movies now that Paul Walker's gone. That was a nice send-off for him at the end. A nice tribute to his time with everybody in these movies. And I think that that would have been appropriate to end there. But no, they keep making more. <sighs> Hopefully this one's the last one. Maybe. Is it? So anyway, guys, like I said, I wish that this was the end of the franchise. It's just getting old at this point. It's the same thing over and over again. I do enjoy the action. I do enjoy some of the characters. Everybody has good chemistry, like I said about the last three movies. But these movies, I think, are starting to overstay their welcome. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. And be on the lookout for my Fate of the Furious review. Thanks for watching.